Yes, that's right. Step right up. Come with me. Nothing bad is going to happen to you or your children down here, I swear. And then we're going to light him on fire and eat him. <laughs> Hello, Puglets! Welcome back to another episode of Pugs Quest! Oh my gosh, guys, I've been so busy off camera. I've made an awesome build. Well, not super awesome, but super useful at least. In the last episode, I did that um, skeleton grinder, crusher, devourer. Uh, that's located like over there underneath the clouds and of course like 30 blocks underground. And you can kind of see it there. I made a rail line connecting it from my... Um, rail hub that's down there all the way to my uh you can kind of see it there too all the way to that skeleton grinder so yeah now everything is nice and connected and i'm back up here at the tree house you guys probably thought i forgot about this it's been so long it's just such a pain to get up here you know until i either make a piston elevator from my um from my redstone hub or excuse me from my train hub my transportation hub or I guess I could just put a source block down here, like a water source block, and I could climb up here. But I don't know. It's just it's just such a pain to get up here, so I haven't really been coming up here too often. But I remember that I had 12 diamond up here, and I had this iron ore. So I'm going to grab that, and then woo! See you later! Hopefully I don't miss! Woo! All right. That is awesome, and I can't wait, guys, to show you this awesome rail line. I'm super pumped about it. I made kind of like a secret-ish entrance into the skeleton grinder room you'll see what i mean when we uh when we hop into this thing but it's super sweet i'm very excited about it but anyways for this episode i'm gonna do some automatic wheat farming i did a redstone in three or less episode about it uh, i'm gonna do that here i'm also gonna make a cow farm an automatic cow farm and also an automatic sheep farm because as of this update you can now get cooked mutton. That's a thing. Sheep drop meat. So, yeah, definitely got to get that up and running. Yeah, see, you guys, look how sweet that looks. Check that out. Awesome. But let's take a ride on it. All right, I have to remember which destination it is. Not this one. This one. Eventually, I need to, like, color code these with wool colors. So, I just some way of indicating where each one goes. Otherwise, it's just kind of like, ah, torch number four? I don't know. Ooh, where's my cart? I had a cart here. Crap. It looks like I'm going to have to smelt up one more iron, but that's okay. Oh, man. So, there's some cows somewhere. It might be a pain. I actually foresee it really being a pain. Leading the cows, um, leading them to the skeleton grinder. Because, yeah, they're pretty far away. But maybe I'll just put them in a minecart and send them. I don't know. But that'll be fun. That's for later. But, yeah, I want the cow farm and the sheep farm to be close to the skeleton grinder. Because, um... I'm going to need lots of bone meal in order to get the wheat, which I need to uh, breed those things, of course. So it makes sense just to have it underground over there. I just need one iron. That's all I need. Just one iron so I can make a minecart. I need to have a chest or maybe a dispenser hooked up. So I have a bunch of minecarts just like sitting there. So I don't have to do this every time I need to go. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop in our cart and head on to our new base. This is sweet, guys. You're going to love this. You're going to love it. Hop in this cart, hit the button, and... Ah, yeah. Check out this view. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Super nice. Super nice. So I realized back in the old days, uh, mobs can't couldn't spawn on rail tracks. Yeah, it turns out... They can. I guess I'm old-fashioned or something. I, I totally forgot about that as I was building this. And this isn't safe at night because, yeah, bad guys will spawn here. You can see I have the lighting pretty far apart. So, uh, ooh, look at that. That's how you get um, back from the base. But check this out. Check this out. Secret entrance. Oh, God, where are we going? Ah! Splash. Isn't that sweet? Oh yeah, I've dug out this giant room. It's ugly as hell. I know it. It's super ugly. Obviously, we need to decorate. But if you come right through here, you'll see. Bam! Here's the skeleton grinder from the last episode. Again, ugly as hell in here. I apologize. And the items are still transported right here. I haven't really spent too much time in here. 
Uh, so I've only filled up one double chest, and then I took this uh, the rest of the stuff and gave it to a buddy on the server. But uh, yeah, obviously you need to do more decorating in here, but this thing works great. Look at that. Four dudes just spawned as I'm standing here. They're going to get ground up in there and transported over to here. And this is where you drop in, as you just saw from your... Uh, cart ride i think that's pretty cool um gonna be a lot of decoration in here and then there's the skeleton farms over there the this is where you um this is how you get back to my base you put your cart here and that sends you back up there to the transportation hub or eventually i'll have another destination that way maybe and you could just flip the switch and go that way and eventually these will be stairs or something and <laughs> so i'm not jumping all the time and yeah, I think in this episode, I'm going to go ahead and dig this out, similar to what I have over here, make a big opening. Oh, wow. One use and that's that's blown up. But uh, that's where the cow and the sheep farm are going to be. Also in the, the automatic wheat farm. Although I was thinking I might put the automatic wheat farm above the skeleton grinder. I think that might make sense because... Uh, you need to be 16 blocks away from that in order for the skeletons to spawn. And I figure, eh, maybe it's a nice idea to have while you're, uh, farming the wheat that the skeletons are still farming. And I don't know. It doesn't really matter, though, because you're not going to be spending that much time, uh, farming the wheat. Because the wheat farm I'm going to make, guys, is super fast. I mean, super fast. It makes 150 wheat per minute. I mean, it is friggin' sweet. Uh, so you're not going to be spending that much time there because you're going to run out of bone meal. Woo! Diamond pickaxe! I love it! Oh, man. All right, let's start digging this out. I'm going to cut, and I'll meet you guys back once I have a similar, um, hole dug out. All right, so I dug out a big, huge... But ugly room just like the other one but you know what i don't care about the ugliness right now that's something oh man i definitely gotta work on though this is driving me crazy how just ugly all this is the stone brick everywhere and the gravel and the dirt Ugh. we'll work on that soon but right now it's time to end pug nation hunger it's time to bring it in to pug hunger switch there Compared to coming out of this block, this thing is sweet. This is going to change my life. I am never, ever, ever going to have to worry about food again once this is over. Time to defeat hunger. Let's see if I remember how to build this thing. This thing should give me, although I don't know, I haven't done it with server, uh, on the server yet. So hopefully server lag isn't too much of an issue. Hopefully it's a non-factor. I really hope. But uh, in my single-player world, it was giving me 150 wheat per minute, which is just unbelievable. And I have I have all the uh, all the bone meal in the world I need to do it. So this is gonna be sweet. Okay, so now I need to put my water block there. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Let's see, water block there, right, right, and now good. I came prepared. I got my dispensers already. Dispenser there 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 and one on top man if i'm so spoiled i'm so used to uh building everything in creative and it's so much easier when you can just fly around and boom there we go so that's all that done oh i need a fence gate oh and i came prepared with that man who knew who knew i would ever be this prepared oh put 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 the fence there we go all right awesome and now we just need to put another water block in there i can get rid of all this crap and let's see, what else do I have to do? Oh, just put the dust there, 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 there. And now this should make a horrible, annoying clicking noise as soon as I click this on. Perfect, it's working. All right, that's it. Time to end pug hunger. Wait, gotta get that water to go away so I can till this up. Perfect, now that water block back there should keep that hydrated. Oh man, I'm so excited. Time to end pug hunger. Here we go. No more hunger for Pug Nation. Let's just grab a ton of bone meal. Actually, let's put all this crap away because I'm just going to fill my inventory up with wheat and seeds. Screw this. I'm sick of being hungry. Ah, I'm out of chests. Oh, man. I need another chest. Actually, I should make a few because I am just going to fill my inventory up with wheat and seeds. I'm sick of being hungry. The campaign to end Pug Hunger has finally succeeded, or will shortly. Just throw all this crap away. Ah, uh, get my inventory back the way I like it. Have some bread, ha ha, ha ha! 
get all this crap out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't need any of this. Actually, I'll keep that and keep that. And let's just grab some seeds and a bunch of bone meal. Woo! Let's get this party started. 47 seeds. Good, good, good. And I'm just going to grab like nine stacks of this. I think we'll fill everything up. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this will actually fill all the dispensers up all the way. Oh my gosh. I really hope Server Black doesn't screw this up. Look at all this bone meal. I am just loading these up. This is what I love about the Skelly Grinder. This is what it's all about. Tons of bone meal. Never going to be hungry again. Oh, man. Stacks and stacks and stacks of bone meal. And check this out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, server lag doesn't ruin this. Click, 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 click. I'm just going to mute that so you guys aren't going crazy. Because I'm going crazy already. Mute this up. And let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, yeah. Look at that wheat coming. All right. Let's start again. Boom. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Server lag is not a problem. Doesn't seem to be a problem. I'm getting what looks to be the same rate I was in my single player world. Oh, man, that's such a relief. I was actually really, really afraid that server lag was going to be an issue. But, oh, my God, I am just going to stand here. I'm holding down right mouse button. I'm going to go AFK. Or, well, not AFK because I have to sit here and hold down the right mouse button. Oh, maybe I could tape it. But I'm just going to drain all this bone meal out and just get stacks and stacks of wheat. And then it's time to start the cow and the sheep farms. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I would say we definitely ended pug hunger there. Wow, look at that. Turned nine stacks of bones. So 27 stacks of bone meal into... All of this wheat in less than four minutes. Wow, that was friggin' awesome. And now it's time to make our uh, sheep and cow enclosure. And then I gotta find some uh, sheep and cows and bring them down here, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna do. It's gonna be kind of a pain, but uh, maybe I could put them in the... No, because they won't be able to get out of the water. Well, whatever, that's, that's a problem for later. Right now we gotta actually make the... Uh, make the automatic farm so I'm gonna take a bunch of this wheat and let's make some bread oh yeah BAM and then let's just turn this into wheat blocks so I can store it better actually but not all of it though boop there we go awesome oh man this is awesome no shortage of wheat I knew this would change my life but uh Wow, no more hunger for Pug Nation. We ended Pug Hunter. Hunger, that's for sure. Eh, let's just make a bunch of these so I don't have to carry all this weed around in my inventory. Alright, so what am I going to need? I'm going to need, um... I'm going to need some dispensers. Ah, uh, not enough. Oh, there we go. I'm going to need some dispensers. i got to keep some of those so I can actually lead my cows and sheep down here. Uh, need a bunch of dispensers, which is why you see I've been making some um, bows. I think I only need four. I need to get two buckets of lava, which means I need to go back down into the caves to do that. No problem there. And um, that's really about it. It should be a quick and easy build. So I'm going to gather all the materials, including the lava buckets, and I'll meet you back in the farm room. All right, so I already built one of the farms, and now I'm just building the other one right across from it. Nice and easy. This, is, this room is going to be awesome. This is my bread maker. That's my steak maker. This is my mutton maker. You can't get any better than this, folks. This is awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. And this is just such an easy build, too. Super easy to do. Completely idiot-proof. <laughs> All right, so... As long as I can remember how to do it, that is. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, Pug Nation. All right. Glass blocks there. See, I'm glad I built this other one because I can look at this and make sure I'm doing it right. There, there. That's my baby filter. Need to have a sign there. Whoop. Nothing on it. That's going to hold my water back. That's a dispenser with a water bucket in it. Perfect. This is a dispenser 
with a lava bucket in it. In case you were wondering too, I did a formal tutorial on this in my Redstone in 3 or less series. So if this is kind of going too fast for you, don't worry. I'll have a link down in the description or I'll put something on the screen you can click on if you want to see an actual tutorial. But, I mean, obviously you can see this is a really simple build. That's it. That's like all the working parts. Now I just got to wall it off and it's done. Um, I have the stairs here because originally at least or, or in the beginning you're going to need to be able to come up here Actually, no, these always have to be here because you're going to need to be able to breed your cows or your sheep And also I need to be able to lead them up into the enclosure, which is kind of a pain That's kind of the most annoying part of this thing is leading them up into this area. It's definitely annoying Oh wait, I got to put my redstone in derp <laughs> That's the, uh, I guess that's the trickiest part, but even that's easy in this build. No problem. And that's just going to be a normal piston. This could also be a sticky piston, but I'm poor and I don't have any, I don't have a slime farm yet. So just do the normal piston gravity block trick. And this build is completely done. Or at least functionally done. Now I just got to dress it up a little bit. And there we go. There's my lava blade. So that turns the water on. That'll push the... Uh, that will allow me to breed the animals because they'll hop up and down. And I can breed them up. And it'll also push the newborns under here. Where when they grow up and get big, I can light them on fire. And their drops will go into this chest. Awesome. Now I just got to build my uh, staircase up to it. I don't know how I'm going to dress this room up. I can't believe... I actually thought this room was going to be too big. It's actually too small. I need to dig it deeper because this thing juts out too far. I have no way to, like, cover this up. Um, otherwise, it kind of conflicts with this. I don't know. But that's for another problem. Decorating is going to be another episode because this is so ugly. Uh, it definitely deserves its a complete own episode. Absolutely. Stairs, 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 stair. And am I out? Nope, good. And I think I'll have like fences here or something. Now I can just put stairs going up to the top. Like so. And just like that, this build is completely finished. And let's just put a torch here so nothing spawns. I'm going to put some fences here so you're not falling off. And fences around here. I think it'll look a little bit better too. And let's see. How did I hide the redstone over here? I think I just built a wall like that. And make sure I didn't break anything. Nope. Everything's still working. Awesome. All right. So I have two identical farms. I'll put the cows in one the sheep in the other. So first things first. We got to go find some cows. And find some sheep. I have no idea where cows are. They're like way back by the uh, tree base, I think. Uh, I found some in, in an earlier episode there. Sheep? I don't know. I don't know where the sheep are at either. They're hopefully not too far away. Let's see. Come on down, sheep. Come on down, cows. Nothing bad will happen down here. I saw. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Right there? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Yes, that's right. Step right up. Come with me. Nothing bad is going to happen to you or your children down here, I swear. Nothing horrible. Nothing horrible is going to happen. Oh, this is great. You guys just come right along, don't you? That's right. Step right up. Come with me and you'll be... In a world of pure imagination, you won't get horribly burned in my lava blade. How about this one? Come right up. Step right up. Oh my god, that was easy. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is actually the hardest part. This is a pain, getting them in here. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. It actually probably be easier if I put the weed away. Get in there. Once you got the first one in there, it's actually not... Yeah, there we go, because now we can just... Boop, boop, and they should go to each other. Yeah, all right. Let's see if it works. Yeah! Usually you have to turn this on to flush them. 
And then how this works is these guys, they are not able to get under that glass block, but their children are. And just like that, we're just going to have to wait for this guy to grow up and get nice and big. And then we're going to light him on fire and eat him. And his get his wool, too. We'll get some wool drops from this. Awesome! All right, let's find some cows. That was so easy. Okay, we're back to where we were in an earlier episode. I found one cow. I know there were two here, at least, because I bred them. So there should be three, actually. But I can't seem to find his buddy. I don't know where he's at. Maybe he's up in one of these trees. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Don't fall off that cliff. Follow me. Follow me. Oh, I need both of you, though. Come on. Where's the other one? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing terrible is going to happen to you guys either, I swear. I swear. I've only got the best intentions. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Look at all these horses. I forgot about all these horses. How awesome it is over here. Woo! Oh, and I can make a chicken farm, too. We got chickens over here, too. Man. We're going to have a well-rounded diet here in Pug Nation. I'll tell you what. Keep coming, guys. Hopefully there's not a big cliff here so I can keep leading these guys. Uh, let's see. They'll come this way, right? Good, good. They're still coming. Step right up, idiots. Step right up. Hopefully no one gets blown up in here. I want to keep them away from those trees just in case it's like a creeper or something. Because they do spawn in there. And that would really be a shame. So I got to keep an eye out for that, too. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, I hear zombies. All right, come on, guys. I will lead you to safety. Come, please. Through the darkness. As long as there aren't any creepers, I just don't want these guys getting blown up. That's all. Because as far as I know, these are the only two cows on my little base area and I really don't feel like transporting cows from really far away that would suck keep coming where's the opening to this cave I can't even remember I got so spoiled with that rail line I'm not used to having to do this by foot I think I'm going the wrong way I don't think it's over here oh there it is it's right there okay through here guys can they come through here oh I lost one come on Oh, this is such a pain. I hate moving mobs. Yeah, you see me. Come on. Come on. Don't get lazy on me. Come on. Look at him just standing there. Oh, my God. I hate these guys. It's like they know that their children are just going to be incinerated for life in an endless horror cycle. Oh, my God. Seriously, though. Seriously right now with your lives? Ugh. God, here we go, here we go. This is a big opening. Come on. Come on. Come on, you fucks. Oh my god. Up the hill. Up the hill. Up the hill. Oh my god. Get up the hill. What are you doing? There we go, there we go. No, you're running the wrong way. This way, this way, this way. Follow me. Follow me. Yes. All right. God, these stupid mobs. Come on! The pathfinding is just so unbelievable. I think I lost the one, though. Come on! Come on! This one is in heat, and it's getting dark out now. We spent all day trying to get up this hill. All right, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Where is that cave entrance? Oh, oh here we go. Wait, no, that's not lit up, though. That can't be the right entrance. I don't want to go anywhere dark, because if these guys get blown up, this is it. This is it for cow kind. Where's the other one? Come on! Oh, I'm getting nervous now. This is taking too long. We're in the covered forest. I mean, there could be creepers in here. Oh, there we go. It's a safety. Come on. Come on down. Come on. Oh, I got another sheep too. Why not? Yeah, you come too. <laughs> Why not? Step right up. <laughs> Everyone wants to come now. Oh, man. We're almost there. We're almost there, we're almost there! Through this opening, through this opening! Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! We even got another sheep! Come on! Yeah! Alright, I feel safe now. I feel safe. This is it. We've made it. Oh, these stupid idiots, though! That was really way harder than it needed to be. Wow! We got a bonus sheep. Why not? <laughs> Come on, buddy! We're almost there! 
Oh, we got one hesitating. Now you're hesitating, huh? Get out of this. Let's go. Let's go. Seriously? Oh, wow. That was that was kind of tough, actually. It was a little nerve-wracking for a minute. I wasn't sure that was going to work or not. Okay, sheep, you go that way. Can they... Oh, God, I hate these guys. I really do. I hate you, too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at the stupid look on his face. Get in the box. Get in your box. Oh, my God. This is frustrating. You, come on. You, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've had enough of your crap. Yes. And just like that. The sheep does not need to be in here, but whatever. Get in there. Get in there. Oh my god! Get in there! This fucking sheep is in the way! Okay, that's enough. I don't need you. Woo! Mutton! Awesome! My first taste! In there. Yes! And now, just like that, finally! Oh! Wow! That was a pain! But just like that... We now have an operational sheep and an operational cow farm. All we have to do is wait until these guys get big and we can kill them. Now, obviously, I need to breed more sheep in there to increase my yields. Otherwise, yeah, just waiting forever to have one sheep grow up. Not really going to give me big yields. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to block that off. So every time I breed these, I just get more adult um, sheep, same with the cows, of course, so I get more children per breeding cycle. That'll increase my yields, but then, yeah, pug hunger has been cured in this episode. And also, I should get some sheep out of there and start making a wolf farm. I think I might have, like, a colored wool um, sheep area or whatever, maybe over in that area. That way I can use that as a building block. So many options, but, wow, that was annoying with these cows, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Pug Hugger has been cured. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this episode and you would like to see more like it. And I'll see you all very soon.